wrestling, it can be it can be incredibly cheap. Thrift stores are like your best friend for trying to save money. But when you start to get into stuff like like this, and you want to look for good quality products and make everything from scratch, materials are not cheap. If you're starting to get into cosplay to the level that I am, or even um, even more professional cosplayers who travel all over the world and bring out new costumes all the time, you're talking almost going into costs that uh, that bridge that that bridge into um, the costs that need that you need for sporting equipment. Like you can easily rack up rack up a bill over a year that would equate to close to what like a set of hockey equipment would be. And you know, hockey equipment only lasts so long too. So. I completely agree there. Not, not for the faint at heart if you're budget conscious. <laughs> no. Is, is there very many places that people can find stuff to uh, make cosplay other than thrift stores? Or is it kind of uh, a very small market? No, there there are. I mean, uh, thrift stores are an easy way to kind of uh, to keep your budget low because you can find um, a ton of different materials and, that, and articles of clothing that you can repurpose completely, either from, you know, just taking off components of it or disassembling it entirely and using the fabric. Like... For example, if, if you're cosplaying as a character that's just wearing a red t-shirt, why would you go and buy the fabric to make a red t-shirt? Well, you can go to a thrift store and buy one for $3 and it's already made and you've saved yourself some time and it looks like exactly what you need it to be. Um, same thing with uh, with a vest. If you need a denim vest, maybe you can't find a denim vest, but you might find a denim jacket and cut off the sleeves. Um, it depends on the character that you need, but I mean, I've, I've also taken um, dresses and completely disassembled them and turned them into skirts for my cosplays. Um, you can also uh, buy cheaper leather if you're buying a leather jacket and just disassembling it entirely and using the raw scrap material from that leather jacket. It's cheaper than going out and buying a whole you know, panel of, of leather and having to worry about tanning it or stress, de-stressing it or, or things like that. So it's, thrift stores are like one of your best friends when you're getting started in cosplay and even when you're an experienced cosplayer. Yeah, I was. Uh, I used to do a little bit of cosplaying as a Jedi, and I referred to myself as a thrift store Jedi because I was literally I was going to thrift stores to put together the costume I had. So. Oh, exactly. Yeah, even even um, raw materials for building armor, like the uh, for my Mega Man cosplay that I've done, which is like a gender bent version of Me of um, like Mega Man X. Uh, the the base that was used to build my. Um, my, my blaster and my big arm are actually the, the base inside of it is actually just a, like a um, like a pitcher like a, ju a jug used for you know making cooler or pouring water in or whatever um, and then just you know with a handle taken off and the spout taken off and repurposed to use as a good structural base to build off of to make those blasters so you can I mean you can find all that stuff at the thrift store or a dollar store or whatever possibly doesn't have to be expensive it's just when you start getting into you know, using quality materials. So that's where it gets expensive. Um, what tips would you give to people who are just starting in, in getting into cosplay? Um, be creative. Uh, well, definitely be creative um, as far as how you assemble everything together. Because um, like I say, cosplay doesn't have to be as expensive. It's only as expensive as how you make it. Um, and uh, be passionate about the character that you're portraying as well, um, or the source material that it comes from. It's a lot... It's, you get a lot more passion towards going through the effort and keeping yourself motivated to make that cosplay if you actually care about the cosplay that you're doing or the character that you're doing or like where it comes from. Um, it, it keeps you motivated because it's very easy to kind of just like any any kind of skill or trade or um, you know artistic endeavor. It can be very easy to kind of fall off the wagon and put something to the side. Or to procrastinate about it, which like the cosplay conscious French is a very real thing. Pretty much every cosplayer goes through it multiple times in their lifetime. We go through that for our video shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's it's good to keep your, to keep yourself motivated to actually be passionate about whatever you're trying to portray. I think that's actually uh, great advice. Um, is there any way that people can reach uh, reach you uh, other than coming down at Fancus, which I suggest is a must? Of course, yeah. <laughs> um, you can uh, you can basically find me on Facebook and Twitter, Instagram and Twitch. Um, I'm sure you know. We'll have to post a link on the social media for Absolutely. that too. But uh, uh, basically, you know what? If you Google Jay Tanuki and the spell Tanuki like like Mar Tanuki six double O's. Um, if you just Google it, you you find me. I'm like all over the whole front page of Google for that. So. Oh, yeah. trust me, I'll be going off and I'll be teasing people who, on Twitter who do not follow us on Facebook and say, you're missing out on some great interviews here. You know, you missed out on a great interview with Jay Tanuki. Uh, 
is, this has been an absolute blast. Yes, no, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Um, so, is there any uh, final words before you're finished? Yep, before we're done here. <laughs> before you're finished. I'm going to say, yeah, before, before the con closes, because we're probably hitting that hour. Uh, about seven minutes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you know what, just stay stay motivated. Whatever you're working on, stay motivated, stay into it. You're obviously working on whatever you might be working on for a reason, whether it's like a house project or, um, you know, it might be something artistic or whatever the case might be. Like, you can do it. Just, like, own it and you're totally golden. I, I believe in you. <laughs> well, I, we appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you. And we hope the tomorrow is just as great and just as busy. Yeah. Uh, we can't wait to go up and to see your uh, Rita Repulsa. Yes, yeah. I'll be, I'll be doing Rita Repulsa tomorrow from the new Power Rangers movie. And we'll actually have to get your picture before everything wraps up just so people can see what the cosplay looks like today. Of course. So, awesome. All right, thank you thank so much. You. Hey, thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, this thing is so slow.